What's up, what's up everybody? It's time for another How to Rune video. Today we're doing How to Rune Panda Warriors. I know we're a little late on this. It's like been a month overdue for another How to Rune. And this was uh, requested a lot because a lot of people are like, Oh, I want to rune my Zhangfei for uh, Necropolis, for raids. How do I rune him? Um, the really two different ways to rune him actually. For Necropolis and for raids are kind of two different ways. We'll talk about that. Uh, but they're some of the newer monsters, so it's a little bit more confusing, especially because two of them are defense type. Uh, right, good defense. Uh, this second skill, which does a, which basically gives him a counter attack. Two of them are HP type, uh, which have this second skill strip. And then this guy, who's totally different, attack type monster. It's like you usually see like two different types of the mon. Like okay, well, we see that this these kind are tanks, and these kind are this. And then like the beast monks are very like they're all very similar, like very similar monsters. But this guy is like. Like, these are three totally different monsters, how to ruin them, right? It's almost like three different monsters all together, like different monster types all together. Anyway, uh, wait, what does that even mean? They are three different attack, defense, and HP. Yes, they are three different monster types, Jubego. Okay, okay, good that we have some quality content. Uh, this guy, he's an attack type monster. He's got better base attack than, every, than the other ones, right? Uh, and he's got the attack power leader skill, and he's got better speed, and he's got less defense and HP, so it's like, okay. Third different type of monster. Anyway, now let's talk about- Yeah, of course it's a third different type of monster. Of course it is. Let's talk about how to ruin him. Okay, so there's two different builds, really, for this guy. Uh, there's one for- and see, I see some people like... Maybe kind of like mid-game sometimes like to use him for arena defense when he first came out people were trying to use him for arena defense it's he's not as much of a fire threat if he was more of a threat like a more of a fire threat or maybe a hybrid build maybe for arena defense but i usually don't see too many people i recall there's just like better stuff like rakan is really good perna is really good so uh, but he's good for necro he's good for frontline for raids the Necro build, right, because he's got this defense uh, skill, too. Um, so he's got the multi-hits for Necro, right? And he's got the at least a heal and a cleanse on himself. Uh, so, you can't really... I mean, you could try to uh, ruin him for both Necro and Raids. The only problem with that is, for Raids, he needs to be super tanky, high defense. When you use him in Necropolis, if he gets stolen, he's super tanky, high defense, he's going to be a pain to kill. He's going to be a pain to kill. Plus, uh, he's gonna make the runs longer if he's super tanky, and then you're trying to, and he gets stolen, and you're trying to kill him, you spend all this time doing that. The runs are just gonna be longer overall. So, what I notice is, uh, when I look at, uh, the different, like, solid, solid players, when I look at the runes on them, when I look at how they're using, if they are using Xiangfei, they're ruining him either for Necropolis specifically, or, and a lot of, a lot of them really aren't anymore, a lot of them are ruining them just for raids. Um, not and they're using other stuff in Necropolis, but if they are using him for Necropolis, they're running attack, crit damage, attack, or attack, crit damage, uh, defense, and um, violent revenge for Necropolis. The reason is, of course, if he's super, super tanky and doesn't have really any attack, then he's going to be way harder to kill, like I said. Um, and, you, and I know you're like, what? He's, but he does bad damage based on his defense. Yeah, but he does this is based on his attack still. So, running him, and it's kind of like, he doesn't have great base attack, he's a defense type monster, he's got better base defense, but if they are running him for Necropolis, because it's so, it's because it kind of throws a wrench in the whole run, if he gets stolen, and then you have to spend all this time killing him, that's why they're running him either attack or damage attack, or defense crit damage attack, or attack crit damage defense, or something like that, uh, violent revenge, speed subs, Accuracy subs are important too, uh, because he's got four debuffs. Uh, so that's generally the rune build for him. Of course, everything on Necropolis is Valent Revenge anyway. But he's got this defense break uh, skill there. It's good good Necropolis monster. I'm just warning in advance, if you run him super tanky for Necropolis, you're gonna have... you're gonna If you try to pizza when you french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, no, if you ruin him too tanky for Necropolis, you're gonna have some issues. So I would suggest either attack or damage... Um, Attack or damage, attack, attack or damage, defense, defense or damage, attack, something like that. Something along those lines for... Because he still does... 
he's like attack crit damage defense he'll still do attack and crit damage will still benefit this first skill and then defense and crit damage will still benefit this third skill but also even with things like this where it's ba uh, based on the max hp of the enemy and it's based on your defense attack still is going to do is still go is going to add to that damage as well uh so don't think that it won't it's just with things based on defense you can be like oh i could just stick a bunch of defense on it and that's going to be nice because it's damage based on defense but it always still attack does play a role in things that are based on defense or speed etc etc as well uh so there's that then there's another way uh to build him and this is similar to how this is actually kind of how i have mine built uh so i have mine built for raids i thought he had broken sets for a second i was like oh no he got broken sets so mine is defense hp defense for raids i have two sets of fight runes to try to make do we really can we can we enchant this no we can't enchant this okay uh, so I have accuracy is really low need better accuracy definitely need better accuracy for raids so I got to work on that why do I not have good enough accuracy here I did change him somewhat recently but uh, but he does actually need better accuracy so shame on me for not having better accuracy for mine for raids but this is good he's front line for raids he's got like he doesn't need as much defenses i have on him the basically the rule of thumb for raids is the more monsters you have in the front line the less defense each one of them needs if you only have two monsters in the front line like i do uh most of the time uh when i'm using this guy i use him and i use ds front line uh i i like to stack a bunch of defense on them so they don't die but this works i would recommend maybe taking a little bit less i don't really need so much I mean, res I don't need so much resistance. I think I could use less resistance, more accuracy. Because we always run resistance lead anyway. So I think a little bit less. I would sacrifice resistance for the accuracy, honestly. Because he does do four debuffs. And I don't have him max skilled either. I need, I, ah, I need him max skilled. Well, I don't, he's, not, he's not my priority right now. Uh, he'll get max skilled eventually one day. I don't really care too. I care kind of about the harmful effect rate. But anyway, anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, some of these new rune sets like enhance. Uh, what else? Enhance determination, fight, uh, things like that. Tolerance are good for him. Really, really good for him. I would definitely recommend for him for raids the new rune sets. Revenge is also good on him for raids as well. Um, focus guard. Just it, more less about specific sets. He doesn't need violent for raids. More about things that benefit the whole team, right? Uh, so that's what I would recommend on the panda. Just tanky overall. I wouldn't worry about the attack for raids. I would just worry about tankiness. Lots of defense. Uh, accuracy needs to be higher though. Uh, but that's and and then and then rune sets that benefit like whatever random like random two sets that benefit the team work the best for that ultimately end goal is is that's what you want um but i mean like like guard and stuff like that work fine for him anyway anyway let's get on to the next one so we talked about the raids we talked about necropolis uh he's good in some of the he's good in the wind rift as well i find uh he's also good in what else but you could use him a little bit differently in the in the rin the, the wind rift the wind rift as well you could use like kind of a hybrid uh, form as well in the wind rift. wind wind rift and you can use them in the dark rift as well uh what else do we have for the next one the next oh god don't even get me started on this one okay so the next one is molong which some people say they like to ruin him Vi uh, not violent well some people do like to ruin him violent some people like to ruin him violent or swift with super high speed and good accuracy and some people like to ruin him with vampire or super high HP and not really so much speed. The thing is, more mid game uh, and Guild Wars focused people seem to like him better with maybe vampire uh, and less speed and accuracy. If people are focused on RTA, I find the solid high level RTA players ruin him swift or violent with super high speed. Uh, I also see despair sometimes because uh, of this skill but i see a lot of super super fast ones i will show you the runes on mine they're not that great i mean they're okay they're okay speed hp hp uh some of them need some grinds though 
Uh, I have him. He needs some more speed. Honestly, I need like 30 more speed on him. But his base speed is kind of low, which limits his speed overall. I, I don't want to put my best swift runes on him because I like my best swift runes for arena. I don't do RT8 all the time. So I put like fifth, sixth best set. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, but I think he's got good enough HP. Uh, I do use him in Arena too. He could use more accuracy. Uh, but this is this is the runes that I have on him. The nice thing about it is the shield will kind of absorb some of that damage he takes from his third skill, right? Uh, but let's go look at... Let's go look at... Uh, someone knocked me down to C3. Uh, let's go look at some of the better ones in... I know Scat's in here. We can go look at Scats. He never minds when I look at his runes. Uh, I mean, it's common knowledge, right? It's common knowledge. So, what do we have here? We have 182 speed. Uh, a little less HP than mine. Two more accuracy. But, I mean, pretty... Pretty similar, as far as that's concerned. We have Swift Will on him there. Uh, let's see what kind of amazing speed... I mean, pretty comparable to mine, except that I have shield on mine. I like the shield that absorbs. I like shield. I like focus, too. I think focus is really good, underrated on him, uh, because of his second skill. Because if you're getting... You kind of want to get... I like to get turn one with him and then strip and stun everyone. I love that. I love that. Uh, same thing with the panda, the, the light panda, where I think accuracy is important on him. Uh, but Sket just got him, so... He's been enjoying him. Let's take a look at his uh, Wind Panda as well. Defense, HP, Defense. Violent Revenge for the Wind Panda. So you can take a look at the stats on that. Accuracy's a little low. Accuracy's a little low. But good uh, good runes overall, though. Good runes overall. And then let's take a look at... Uh, who else are we going to take a look at? I know Cloud Whiskey's got some pandas. I don't remember which ones Cloud has. Uh, okay, so another one. Uh, another one of these good accuracy everyone's got pretty high is this awakening oh increases accuracy by 25 percent. okay i was like is this awakening accuracy everyone's got like 50 percent accuracy on him uh but very comparable to the runes on mine i think he's on violence okay speed hp hp you see oh nice uh nice speed on that one violent uh will all right let's see his uh wind panda 2 hp defense defense all right, we'll go a little slower on the runes on that one. But I know Cloud Whiskey's solid, uh, has nice builds on everything. So, what else? I know Tribe, we can take a look at Tribe, because Tribe has a light panda. So we'll take a look at that, and we'll see if he's got any other pandas while we are at it. Okay, so he's got the... This is defense, def defense, HP, defense. It looks like he's not really grinded him, so he's not really pre I think he maybe uses him sometimes in in uh, in raids, but probably not all the time. The thing with the the thing with the violent on here though, the thing with the violent, which actually yeah, it looks like he's not even he's not Devilmon too much, so I'm not sure how much I'm sure that if he used him more, this is probably like for his second raid team. That's what that's what I'm looking at, I'm seeing. It's probably for his second raid team. If he raids with two teams for himself sometimes, but probably not his priority to uh, to use this guy's to, to use this guy in raids unless he has to, because he's not Devilmon, he's not even grinded for that. Uh, so I'm thinking that he probably ruined him when Necropolis first came out and just kept the runes on him for a long time. Really didn't change anything, and he just happens to be outside of storage right now. Uh, but he's got this beautiful light, this beautiful light panda, this beautiful light panda. Uh, speed, HP, HP. Uh, must be a new rune. That must be a new rune, because I know he loves his Light Panda. Uh, so these are the stats on that. Violent, plus 147 speed, not bad. Uh, good HP. Where's his Awakening Accuracy to? Okay, 47% accuracy, okay. But I wanted to show you guys a few Light Pandas while we're at it too. Is there anyone else that I know of that I have? Let's see, oh my god, some Let's see, oh my goodness. I don't remember what he has. I don't even know what he has outside of storage, though. You have any pandas? You have any pandas, oh my goodness? Outside of storage? Okay, we see high defense. Low HP. 
I think is a work. He's a work in progress. He's messing around with them, or he's a work in progress. So I wouldn't really worry too. I wouldn't really look at that too much. Uh, another Wind Panda speed, HP, defense. Speed and HP and defense are the most important stats overall on him. But depends on where you're going to use him. Um, is oh, let's take a look at the runes on this Rainbow Mon. Nice, nice. Uh, anyway, it depends on where you're going to use him. That Wind Panda runes do kind of change. But I see some people, and I tried, uh, I actually put leftover runes, HP, 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 leftover runes on Molong when I first ruined him up. Uh, Vampire, um, Vampire Revenge, when I first ruined him up. I, I did want high speed, I did want a high speed, high accuracy Molong, um, like end game, but I was like, well, let me wait till rune removal, let me stick these runes on him and play with him. While I, you know, not, not, not play with him. So, uh, and that was, that was fine. But I really, really, really like this shield event, uh, not shield event, shield focus. Uh, not, well, what did I, shield focus? What is that? I really like shield on him. I really do like focus on him too. Focus for this shield. You get the benefit from this as well. Uh, I know some people are going to, in the comments, they're going to be like, no vampire. He's the best on him. Vampire is fine on him too, but I think more for the speed, um, the aggressive speed for RTA, he's, he gets a lot out of Swift. So I think Swift is fun for him. Uh, and it, it, I see a lot of I let a lot of G2, G3 players in RTA running Swift Molongs or super, super high speed violent Molongs. But it's hard to get, it's hard to get violent Molong that fast though. It is. Um, anyway. What else do we have next? Next we have this Feng Yan, uh, Wind Panda. So we've got defense, does extra damage based on your defense. Here's the thing. Uh, for, for, depends on where you're going to use him, right? Depends on where you're going to use him is he can be beneficial with different runes. If you're going to use him for arena defense, for example, you do want to stack a lot of HP on him. So maybe you might want to go HP, HP defense or... Um, HP, 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 even with like a lot of defense and speed subs. Speed, HP, and defense are the most important things on him. I know people, some people like to do like, oh, well, I want to do like this and that and crit damage and stuff like that. This is based on your defense, and I think he needs definitely a lot of defense, but also a lot of HP. The benefit to having him in HP, okay, another benefit to having him in HP is number one, if he's on your arena defense, he can survive a Lucian hit, right? He can survive an Amputation Magic from Lucian if you have him and Ariel. If he's all defense, or if he's speed defense defense, he's gonna die, right? First Lucian's gonna kill him. If you have him and Ariel, or him and uh, Praha, Praha can heal, but she can't heal if he's already dead, right? So you at least want to stack enough defense for that to happen. If you have him on your Guild War defense, another benefit to having um, HP, like super high HP on him is enough to be able to take a hit from uh bulldozer because like you're not going to hit feng yan with a copper right if you're going into arena offense you see uh feng yan on defense you're not going to hit him with a copper because you know he's got super high base defense it's never going to ignore defense so you're going to take bulldozer into him you're going to be like i bet this guy's ruined for high defense right and i'm definitely going to be able to kill him with bulldozer i do that all the time i kill feng yan's with bulldozer uh, i see other people do that all the time too the thing is if you have super high HP and you are expecting that bulldozer, you can come into that with super high HP or even high HP and a set of shield from like, let's say someone else, or you could even use shield on Feng Yan, whatever. And you could absorb that uh, bulldozer hit and not die. And then all of a sudden it's still three on three. They blew bulldozer's third skill and it's still three on three. The whole benefit of having Bulldozer coming in with Bulldozer Emesity first is to take one monster out of the equation as soon as possible. This way you can get it three on two as fast as possible and then you have a big advantage in Guild Wars, right? Three on two is a big advantage. So that's another benefit to having him super high HP. If you're using him for Guild Wars offense though, uh, go as crazy with the defense as you want. Don't have to worry as much about HP. Uh, but I think overall, a nice mix, a nice blend overall for RTA and for Guild War offense is good speed. You never see this guy, if, if people are using him uh, for 
Also, this benefits attack bar increases 20% whenever you're attacked. You do need good speed on that, right? If you don't have good speed, then the attack bar increase isn't going to really give him extra turns because he's so slow anyway. So you do need good speed. I'll show you guys my speed on mine uh, as well. But I showed you guys a couple of really good Feng Yans already. Uh, so here's the stats on mine. He could use more accuracy. He could use more defense. Uh, I've got speed, defense, and HP on him. And I use him, I don't use him, well I do use him for Gildor defense as well. Uh, but a really great copper, uh, not a great copper, a really great bulldozer should be able to take him out. I should be, like, bulldozer my defense! <laughs> don't, don't do that, no! Uh, but I do have, I do have shield on it too. Uh, but a good enough bulldozer should be able to, uh, to kill him anyway. But... Uh, he does. He, st he still has 30,000 HP, which is not bad. So, what do we have next? What do we have next? I think overall, the stats are the stats are okay. He's got over 200 speed, which I think is important. Uh, and then he's got 2,000 defense. And I, I use him sometimes in a second team for raids, but that's really not my priority. I use him for, mostly for Guild War offense, uh, and then occasionally for RTA as well. I really enjoy him. Really enjoy him. But it's, I mean, like, most most of the the pandas I see are hybrid. As long as, it doesn't matter if you have speed slot 2 or speed and subs. If you have, like, if you happen to have, like, a good... This, that's a good uh, example for something that can use defense slot 2. Like, if you have a really good violent defense slot 2 rune, you're like... It's, def it's a 6-star defense slot 2. It's got, like, 20 speed. It's got, like, 20% HP. And it's got, like, good accuracy. And, like whatever and you're like what could i use this on feng yan is a great option right that's the that's a great monster to use that kind of rune on then we have tian lang the beauty about tian lang is he will counter those i mean he's great for rta he's great for arena defense he's great for arena offense too i see some people like to do uh tian lang arena offense because there's so many speedy defenses he can cut in right so every time the enemy uses an attack bar uh increasing skill like a Ryan, like Bernard, like Kabila, it increases their attack each less, and it increases yours. So high speed on him. Too bad he's got like 96 base speed. I mean the same thing with Mo Long. If they had higher base speed, they'd be even crazy, like more OP. They kind of had to limit that to make them uh, a little bit more, a little bit more balanced. But was this HP uh, guild battles? It's not not bad either. That's really good. It's really good for guild battles too. Um, but this is just, this is a great monster for, I haven't really, honestly, I haven't really used him in, uh, guild battles, uh, like for guild battle offense, but I have seen him in guild battle defense, great guild battle defense monster as well. Um, this is wonderful. This is, I mean, basically the, the strong energy passive combined with the dragon's dance where you can cut into all those, it's a speed meta. Cutting into that speed is, and, and strip stunning is like, this is one of the best nat fives in the game one of the best light dark nat fives in the game right or one of the best nat fives in the game period uh for pvp so if you play if you love pvp you got this monster you, you already know you're golden you already know you're like oh i got it i got it yeah. uh, but high speed high speed lots of hp and accuracy uh is i mean he's he's similar to molong right he's similar in runes to molong but i would ruin him Violent. He doesn't need to be swift. He's gonna cut in anyway. He doesn't need to be swift. I would do violent uh, with good accuracy. But like so I would focus on speed, HP, and accuracy for Tian Lang. Um, and I see mostly, mostly super high speed, uh, violent will. And he's crazy good. He's crazy good. Now Mi Ying. I know no one really talks about Mi Ying. They're like, oh, it's the Dark Panda Warrior. Like, where did the people use them? I don't know. Uh, the Dark Panda Warrior is basically just an element neutral damage dealer that's got some tankiness. He's got uh, 648 defense, he's got 10380 uh, HP. So he's got some tankiness in there compared to other things like, let me see if I have that dark, I don't think I have the dark samurai yet, do I? Oh, I do have the dark samurai yet. So dark samurai, he's got much less, another good element neutral uh, damage dealer, but he's got much less uh, HP and defense there. So, Dark Panda, at least, has the benefit of doing a lot of damage. He's got that Guild War. He's a great Guild War cleave monster. 
That's what he is. He's a great Guild War Cleave monster. He's got good speed, but he's basically, he's just a damage dealer, right? He's got the attack power leader skill. He's uh, got this attack all enemies, decreasing the attack power for two turns, and cast a shield on yourself, equivalent to 20% of the damage inflicted for three turns. He's basically, he's basically a better version of the Dark Samurai, right? AoE attack, attack power decrease, uh, and shield on himself. So again, we'll go look at the Dark Samurai. He's got better base stats, right? Um, and this has a 50% chance to activate Sword of Supreme Skywolf, uh, which generates a shield on himself too. I mean, it's, it's very, you see, you see the similarities. Uh, element neutral uh, damage dealer. So I would ruin him, attack or damage attack. Uh, either if you're gonna do a turn one team, let's see, where is he again? If you're gonna do a turn one team speed crit damage attack for like Fatal or Rage or something, Basically the same way you ruin a Zyros or an Alicia. Either speedy damage dealer, um, like speed for damage attack, fatal or rage, or a turn two where you could use either rage will or something, and then you could have a galleon and something else, like galleon Tiana Mi Ying. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah. Let me just pull out the Tiana out my butt. Um, but you could you could do that as well. He's just he's just an element neutral damage dealing monster. But he should be ruined either speed core damage attack, uh, or attack or damage attack. Just standard damage dealing runes. Just the beauty of him is that he's element neutral and he's got some tankiness to him as well. And he's got at least 111 base speed, which Zyros is kind of lacking that, which always not always screws me, but sometimes screws me. I'm like 94 base speed. Oh my god, Zyros. Oh my god, you're killing me. You're killing me, brother. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, I talked about cleave teams a couple days ago in a cleave team video. Uh, a couple days before this. Um, and I talked about, uh, you know, the standard speed, speed damage dealing runes, right? Uh, like, if you're gonna use Bernard, Galleon, Stripper, Miying, just just damage. I kind of wish he had more, a little bit more going on here. Because, you know, Zyros is is a, is a regular element nat 5, and he at least, he at least resets cooldowns. So I wish he, I wish he had something more going on than just that. I know he has better base stats. Um, well, not better base stats. I mean, Zyros still does have better base tech. But I just wish he had, uh... I wish he had, I don't know, I wish he had something else. He He's good as far as his stats, etc, etc. He's good, I just wish that there was another, like, added bonus aside from just the damage, right? We got the, we got the attack power break, we got the shield, but I just wish it was something else. Because he's just a better version of the Dark Samurai, honestly. That's, that's all there is to it. Anyway, guys. Oh my goodness. Only 27 minutes. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope it helps you kind of understand the the pandas and how they're ruined and how they're used, etc, etc. Uh, I wish I could show you the... I showed you my pandas, didn't I? I did, I did show you my pandas. I showed you... Yeah, I showed you all my pandas. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. Uh, that's it for today. That's it for this one. I will see you as always, as always, in the next one.